हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ बैंकर्स अलगोरिज्म बेसिकली द बैंकर्स अलगोरिज्म इन दिस द बैंकर्स अलगोरिज्म वी हैव गिवन द प्रोसेस द एलोकेशन मैट्रिक्स द मैक्सिमम मैट्रिक्स एंड द अवेलेबल मैट्रिक्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द नीड नीड मैट्रिक्स एंड द सेफ सिक्वेंस फॉर द सेम एग्जाम्पल सो वी हैव गिवन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गिवन बैंकर्स अलगोरिज्म where there are uh, five process namely uh, p0 to p4 uh, and uh, uh, allocation of the processes is uh, given in the matrix and uh, maximum also given and there are three resources of type a b c are available namely uh, 3 3 2 so in this example we have three type of resources a b c so first uh, we have to find out the need matrix so need uh, the formula to find out the need matrix is very much simple need is equal to maximum available resources minus allocate allocated resources means we have to subtract the allocated resources from the maximum resources so here uh, as you can see the maximum of a for process p0 is 7 and for a allocated resource is 0 so 7 minus 0 is 7 for b it is 5 Minus one, that is four, and for C, it is three minus zero, that is three. So we have to find out a uh, need need matrix for all the processes. So we just find out. Next is one, two, two, and next is six, zero, zero. Next is zero, one, one. and uh, next is 4 3 1 so uh, as of now we have find out the need matrix next we have to find uh, whether the uh, given for the given example there is a cf sequence exist or no not so uh, for this we have to first check our available uh, resources that is 3 3 2 okay next uh, as you can see the need matrix uh, the need uh, the need of process p0 is 7 4 3 but as of now we have available resources uh, 3 3 2 so it is basically clear that we are the pro the need of the process p0 cannot be uh, completed because a requires seven resources and we have available a is equal to three resources so we go to the next process so uh, so so far now p0 is on hold we check for p1 so p1 requires 1 2 2 and we have available 3 3 2 so it is possible to fulfill the request of p1 so we fulfill the request of p1 and after p1 completely executed the p1 re uh, release its allocated resources that is 2 0 and 0 so uh, then our new available resources will be 3 plus 2 5 3 and 2 okay so our new available resources will be 5 3 and 2 okay next we uh, so our first uh, sequence uh, first we uh, step sequence will be p1 next as uh, now our available resources uh, are 5 3 2 next we check for p2 p2 requires needs 6 0 0 but we have 5 3 2 so uh, we cannot fulfill the request of p2 so we move, move to the p3 so p3 requires 0 1 1 1 resources of type abc and we have 5 3 2 uh, available resources of type abc so clearly we can fulfill this request so after fulfilling this request the p3 will uh, give the allocation allocated resources to the available so our new available will be 5 plus 2 that is 7 3 plus 1 4 and 2 plus 1 3 so this is our new available resources of type abc so our in the same sequence we add p3 next uh we will see p4 required 4 3 1 uh, resources 
and we have 743 so we can clearly uh, complete its need and after completion p4 will uh, release its allocated resources so our new resources will be 7 4 and 3 plus 2 5 okay uh, so as of now our three process has been completed p1 p3 and p4 but what about p, p0 and p2 so we will again uh, cycle back or again checking uh, the requirement of p0 and p2 if they are satisfied or not if they we uh, we will check that and uh, depend on this we will continue to, uh, our sub sequence so the need of p0 is 743 and our available resources are 745 so the need of p0 are can can be satisfied so after completing this p, p0 will uh, release the resources 0 1 0 so our new available will be 7 5 and 5 okay uh, so we will add p2 to our sub sequence p sorry p0 to our sub sequence uh, next we will check uh, the uh, need of the p2 p2 requires 600 uh, resources and we have 755 so we can clearly satisfy this request and after completing the p2 will release 3 3 0 and 2 uh, resources so we will add in our available so our available will be 10 5 and 7 okay so our uh, we will add p2 to in uh, in our self sequence so this is the uh, self sequence for our given problem that is p1 p3 p4 p0 and p2 uh, basically friends uh, it is not a mandatory that there is there only one self sequence available uh, there can be a more than one sequence uh, self sequence can be available so depending upon where you start and where you end your self sequence can be different so thanks for watching and if you like then you can subscribe thank you